hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a little bit different here's my cat um so i thought i would film a planner sticker collection and storage video basically so this is where i keep mainly all of my sticker thing but yeah this is my planner cart and basically all this stuff is like kind of random stationary junk stuff and that's just a random easter present but yeah this top thing is where i keep all my stickers and just looks like this also this says plans with emily and that was a custom vinyl that i got from planning kayla whenever she did those this is from the honey bee shop it just says planner babe and then this says craftiness is happiness and you can see like the little hollow so um i have two reusable sticker albums right here is a reusable sticker album that's huge and then this little smaller one and i will go into this stuff more in depth but i'm just going to give like an overview um i have this little folder right here i have extra kits that are overflow that don't fit in my albums really I have two small albums from, um, what's it called? Simply Goaded. I have, um, five albums, I think five. I have five albums from the Dollar Tree, two from Michael's. These are all the Honey Bee Shop kits. This is technically a, like a brush lettering thing, but I just kind of keep it right here. It's not really sticker related, but this is a... I have two large albums, one from Simply Gilded, and I have no clue where this is from. I think it's from Planner Face. We'll see whenever I get into it. And then I have this from My Perfect Plans, and I'll show you what I use that for. So let's go ahead and go onto my desk, and I will go ahead and show you guys this stuff more in depth. Okay, so first of all, I have these two sticker albums, and you can just see how much smaller because this my footage was just too long four times the size. and yeah okay so this one i just got it's from sticker guru and it just has this little capricorn zodiac design and this one i use for storing freebie stickers um extra boxes from kits like leftovers and pre-pulling stickers for my plan with me so I pre-pull stickers from my plan with me in the front here, which I currently have bougie boxes and then it goes into um, the stickers for each day on a separate page. And then in the back is where I started putting my freebies. So we have like little emotions. These are all from um, Pink Diamond Planner Co. freebies. Her freebies are always the same. It's this character. Then this is a mix of different little characters. Um, I'm not sure why I slit these two up, um, but here's just some more characters, here's some, like, icons, and then this flat lay, and then scripts and, like, basic ones, and then I just have some boxes over here, and it's barely filled out because I literally just got this not too long ago, so it only has a couple of, um, boxes in it, basically. So yeah, that is all that's in this one so far. And yeah, so then this one is actually from Michaels and it did not come like this. Um, it's like looking really rough. This is actually like, um, it came on one of my sticker orders and then I taped it on here because I thought it was really pretty like foiled my name. And then I put this craft paper on it from Michaels. And then I also put um, marble paper on the inside, and I did that on both sides of this, as you can see. So this is literally a giant, um, it like doesn't even fit all the way in the frame. Let me see if I can pull this up more. So that works. Okay. So basically, what I have in here, this is like literally just random icons on this first page. I have scripts on this page from a variety of different shops. This is literally all leftover stickers, basically. Then I have weekend banners, movie marquees, and then random fun size boxes. I have little things down here, um, script headers, some dividers. This is boxes. It's like half or quarter boxes up here and then half boxes down here, some extra weekend banners extra full boxes these are monthly boxes 
from when I used to do monthlies and I just saved them for some reason. I have tons of, um, what are these called? Checklists. I have heart checklists and there's some bow ones and then there's page flags and then hexagons and like these little drop shapes and then some random planner clips over here. Oh my, there's hairs. Um, I have some extra date covers from kits, extra date numbers, which I do not put my date numbers on a page like this anymore. It does not work at all. It's just like the numbers get all faded from pulling it up and down and it's just not a good system. So I literally don't even use this page anymore. <laughs> and then this is more of like deco icons. I used to put them on this page. And then this is circle icons. Um, I have weekly boxes over here from leftovers and then regular heart checklist boxes. These are glitter headers, um, basically just any type of headers. And then some like bigger washi strips over here, some little dividers right there. Here's my cat. This is a whole page of Bill Do's because I actually used to use Bill Do's a lot and especially <laughs> in my monthly spreads. I'm sorry guys, my cat. <laughs> So yeah, I used to use Bill Do's a lot for my spreads, but I don't really anymore, but I'm trying to put them in my sidebars now so I can start using these up because, um, yeah, I have them. So, and then I have random scripts at the top. I have a bunch of like smaller checklists, like the three thing checklists, um, a random monthly, um, functional thing, some habit trackers, um, some... <laughs> scripts over here and then some more samplers this is where i was putting my little samplers at first and you can see i have like picked through and used a bunch of them and then this is half boxes this is quarter boxes and then some little flags down here a whole page of checklists and then some little page flags right there um, I'm hoping to use more of these soon because I literally just ordered a planner from Planning Roses that I'm planning to use functionally. So I will be able to use more of those. And my cat is back. You gotta get down there. I'm just doing a video. Okay, and then <laughs> so much cat hair. This page was for when I had a Hobonichi Weeks and I just started saving some things, but I don't have one anymore. So I never use this page. <laughs> Then we have some more heart checklist boxes, some more extra full boxes from kits, some habit trackers, um, some, this is basically just, uh, what are these called? Script headers, just like today, to do, to buy, goals, important. These are little tapes from Simply Gilded that they came all in a rule and I wanted to see what all of them were so I laid them out here. And then there's a bunch of flags down here and then some dividers. Um, this page continued with some more script things, but then I kind of turned it into like where I put my work labels from kits if I don't use them. And then this is a whole page of little things. This is extra washi strips from kits and um, like washies from rolls. If I decide not to use it, I don't want to throw it away. So I put it on here. Then we have more circle icons more on the back some more quarter boxes some more checklists and this is all like deco that goes at the top of the kits when from whenever i didn't used to use deco in my spreads which now i use them all the time so now i just have these as like extra icons that i can use um some more half boxes some more scripts from a variety of different kits and stuff some of them have little icons and some of them don't um, scripts continued. This was supposed to be like a little holiday like icons page, but I kind of forgot about it. So there's like some Christmas ones and some Halloween ones and then these random three bow checklists down here for some reason. Um, this is washi from kits. That's washi from a Simply Gilded roll. And then just extra like little strips that came in kits. Some more washi glitter headers and washi strips over here um more little things over here these are going to be little bows and dividers down here um these were basically all my icons that came in my paper candy art kits 
and I really wanted to save them so I started putting more icons back here and then I do have like some from other kits that I did start to put on here but yeah these are icons and then I started another thing of um quarter box quarter yeah quarter boxes right there and then I still have some more sheets left that are empty and yeah that's that and then in the back it comes with let's see this one two three four pockets so in the first one I have just some random sheets that I got from kids that um I didn't really want to take apart so the first ones are from Written on Papers Co. I have these habit trackers in a bunch of different colors, these weekly boxes, and then some bow quarter boxes. And then like whenever you flip on the other side of the page, it'll show you these. And this is actually extra sticker paper. I don't know why I have that in there. And then I have these foldable half boxes from Sweet Avis Paper, which is actually um, paper and thread now. So I have those. And yeah, I don't really reach for these things too often, so I kind of just stick it back here. And then over here, I just have some extra glitter headers, which is where I'm going to start putting them now if they're on a sheet like this. Instead of like taking them off and putting them on the paper, I can just grab them out like that. And yeah, that's basically that album. Okay, so here are all the kits I currently have in the storage for it. Um, yes, it's obviously very obsess excessive, and that's just the life of a planner person. So, let me go ahead and tell you, like, how my system kind of is. <laughs> it's not really, like, the best system, obviously, but it's kind of just fun to show my whole collection of things. So, these are my runover kits that don't fit in these two albums. And then these are also like kits that won't fit just because they're too bulky. But these are my Honey Bee Shop kits that are a lot thicker. So I just keep all of those out of my albums as well. And then this was my first ever um, sticker album. And it's from Planner Face. It just says, I love planning. And it's marble print. And it has a bunch of sleeves in there. But... Um, Basically, almost all of the sleeves are filled with kits, and I stopped filling them because it got to the point where if it gets too thick, the stickers will start to bend um, while it's sitting here, like they'll bend right here, and I don't want my stickers to bend, so I stopped stuffing that anymore. And then this is like my current kit album. It has my current like two to three months of kits that I'm going to be using in here and then also in the back I have like miscellaneous bigger sheets of stickers like script um sheets and stuff like that so I will go into that also but I'm going to start with the loose kits first and show you guys those so let me put these to the side do a little switcheroo okay so, I'm going to show you the Honey Bee Shop ones first. So, these are basically from my Babe Box subscriptions, or I, I bought them, like, a la carte after the extras came on her website. So, this one, these are all from the Honey Bee Shop. This is what her sticker books look like. They're just 10 pages, and they just look like that. So, this is the Book Gazer sticker book. I have the Personality Crisis 2.0 sticker book. Just looks like this. A little flip through. This is the Pink Out Advent Calendar from Halloween sticker book. Looks like this. This is the um, Blush Baby sticker book from the subscription. Looks like that. This is the um, Bare Necessities collab sticker book. So cute. There you can see that. And then this is the Crafty at Heart sticker book, which I have already used this one, but I have extra boxes, so I'm gonna use it again. So I'm still saving this. And that's what that looks like. So yeah, I just have um six 
kits that are just loose from the honeybee shop that I just have. And then for these kits, they're I'm going to keep them in the cello just because it would kind of be a hassle to take them out and stuff. But um, what I do is I, I take them out of their original packaging whenever I first got them and I save all my cellos so I just put them in random cello bags so sometimes they'll have random stickers that don't go with the actual kit if you know what I'm saying um so yeah just try to disregard that and stuff but this one is from Pink Diamond Planner Co and it's like spa themed so yeah I have that one this is a printable kit from Paper Crown Planner I think and it's really cute it's like the foodie theme and then i do put in like any extra scrap pieces um from the kit on my sticker paper in the back and i also put like things like this in the back if um, i'm planning on using it for the kit so yeah there's the foodie kit that i have this is the glam planner pivot drive kit which is harry potter themed and as you can tell, like, it's not put in the cello the same way that it came, but yeah, I have this. And then in the back, I have my Planet Hannah underlays right here that are Harry Potter themed and my Harry Potter quote overlays. And I'm planning on using silver foil with this kit, so I just put the foil in the back. So yeah, that's that one. Then I have this kit, which is like the Sailor Moon themed one. So pretty. I forget where this is from, but it is a printable and I just put my extras in the back. This is also a printable kit, which is like just this really um, calm stay home kit, which I really love. And of course it has a cat, so you guys know I had to get it. And there's a hair in there, of course. And then extras in the back. These are my leftovers from um, a kit from this scammer that I'm planning on using again because there was a lot of full boxes. So I just save it and then I have my foil that I used last time that I'm going to use again with it. So I just kept that in the back of the cello and my extras. Then I did just get this kit recently, um, but it's the tattoo thing. It's called Wild Thing from Caress Press and it's stunning so I have this and just the extra girl box in the back and it's so pretty love that kit another kit from the scammer as you can see the name right there yep pretty self-explanatory extras in the back it's like a lake themed kit very summery and springy then I also just got this from sticker guru it was like the collab with a paperella story and it's just celestial with a gold hollow foiling. I think it's gold hollow. And yeah, there's that one. And then lastly, I have, I was supposed to use this in April, but I ended up not using it. Um, yeah, so who knows when I'll use this. Hopefully sometime this spring because it's really cute. But this was the July mystery called Sassy Summer and it's just so cute. And then it did come with foil in the back and washi strips and it just has sparkly hollow foil which is stunning so those are all my loose kits moving on to my like current um sticker album oh. this is from simply gilded it's just the gray one with pink on the inside and um what i do is i put like the week numbers on a little sticky note I just put it right here and then if there's any holidays I put it on a sticky note as well just so I know like I'm using the right kit for the holiday so Earth Day I wanted to use one that had like florals and was just very like nature themed and that's what this one was to me but before I hop into this let me tell you about my side pocket so this just keeps like random miscellaneous things that I use for planning so I have like extender boxes, the half ones, and then the full box ones. These were random oops sheets that I got as a freebie in my plan of hand order. Um, I have extra sticker paper back here just to store anything like this from a roll of overlay tapes. These extra boxes I had to take off to get to what I wanted. So I'm just saving it on here. And then I also saved my silver um date cover overlays right here as well from the honey bee shop and yeah i just kind of save a few sheets of extra sticker paper from kits 
and I keep it back there in my side pocket. So first kit, I have this one. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let me hold it up. Um, I have this spring one from the Pink Planner Shop. And then I put any foil in the back pocket because these have two pockets per sleeve, like one in the front, one in the back. So I just put any foil that I'm planning on using in the back pocket or any extras in the back pocket for the kit. So this one I'm pulling in this peachy sparkly foil from Pink Diamond Planner Co. Then next one is this like bakery themed coffee city kit basically. So, so cute. Um, and I'm pulling a gold foil in with this from Pink Diamond Planner Co. It's in a bundle. Next, I have this Glam Planner kit for Mother's Day, as you can see. And then I just have my extras in the back. And then I have this really old Sadie Stickers kit called Self Love, and it's foiled with gold. So pretty. I don't know why I started taking them out of the sleeve. But also, I have these gold script overlays i mean gold full box what are these called i cannot think um quote overlays yes i have gold quote overlays from Planna hannah in the back that i'm planning to use with it then these are extras from a kit from the scammer that i am reusing the kit again for my other friend's birthday this week um, then I have a kit from Bare Necessity Stickers Co, which is a smaller themed kit, really interesting. Um, it has two pages and then date covers, and then it comes with these little sheets on the side that, like, kind of help you, like, pull in more things to it, and I'm really excited to start using this kit soon. Very, like, galaxy, girly themed, I really love it. And then I have my silver quote overlay sheets from Plana Hannah to pair with it. Then I have um, a Simply Gilded sub box kit that I just thought would be good for like springish because it's very florally and like just springish to me. And then in the back I have some boxes that I printed out, extras, and then some <laughs> Murdoch Talks bougie box things that I got in an oops that I would use for this spread then i have another printable kit um i think this one is from pink planner shop or the planner shack don't know that's usually where i get my printable kits so i have this one and i'm planning on using my gold Lux themed bundle from murdoch talks with it so i just put that in the back and then this one is a kit from White Rose Printables. It's just the peachy themed one. Super cute. And this is actually the week of Father's Day and first day of summer. It's not very Father's Day themed, but um, I didn't really like any Father's Day art that came out. So I just thought I would use this. I think it's a good transition kit for spring to summer. And yeah, I really wanted to use this kit before it turned into summer. So last spring summer kit this week. I mean, for the year is going to be this one. And then for the first full week of summer, I'm using this really, really cool, <laughs> cool, really cute kit from Pink Diamond Planner Co. And it's like the, um, <clears throat> like farmer's, I cannot talk. It's like farmer's market, like really bright colors theme. And I did just put my extras flipped over behind it. And I thought that would be, oh my gosh, my voice is getting raspy, guys. So yeah. And then in the back, I just have the foil bundle that came with the kit. Because this was from a subscription kit. So it did come with this silver foil bundle from Pink Diamond Planner Co. And then lastly, I am moving soon. So I decided to put my moving kits in here as well. So just in case I move during one of the weeks that's already planned out, I have my kits right here that I can just swap out and use those. So I have this kit from Pretty Organized Plans, just very moving themed. And then I have this one from Pink Diamond Planner Co. that is like airplane theme, which I'm going to use for whenever I get a new job because I'm an aircraft mechanic. So it just makes sense that 
this would symbolize a new job or whatever and then I have this like cleaning house thing that I'm gonna use for the first week like move that I'm moved into my house and putting stuff away so I thought that'd be really cute and then I do have two more kits that I am um, going to use for moving so I have this extra sleeve right here for whenever I get those in and yeah so those are my moving kits and then in the back I have just my like bigger sheets of scripts and overlays and stuff like that so I have these hello holiday and hello seasons sheet from rose color days in gold foil um, all my rose color days things back here are oops sheets that I got in a grab bag. So if you see like foiling mistakes or anything like that, just know that they were oops ones. Um, these are hollow holiday scripts. These are black holiday scripts from OK Plans. These are rose gold quote overlay boxes from Plana Hannah. These are Valentine's Day bottom washi overlays from Sticker Guru. I have in silver and millennial pink, I think this color is. You guys can see that. And then I have two more quote overlay sheets from Planet Hannah in silver. Um, holiday scripts in hollow and blue, which is really cool. Um, from Rose Color Days. This is like a hollow sampler, foil sampler from Rose Color Days, and then an extra Murdoch Talks Like Oops sheet that was also in hollow. And then I have foiled weekend banners in gold from Rose Color Days. Date covers, and these are foiled in rose gold, and these are foiled in blue. I think they're like, oh yeah, they're just dark blue. And then lastly, like random Hobonichi sheets, which I don't know what to do with, so I just stuck them back here. Probably will never use them, but I got them in my oops bag. So that is what that album looks like. I really love this system of like having my current weeks of kits in here and then having all my extras in my other album. So let's go ahead and jump into the other album. Okay, so getting into this giant album, this is going to take forever to go through. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be splitting this video up into two parts. Here is my cat again. Watch out, babies. Okay. So first, I have a printable kit that is Valentine's themed from last year. No, well, actually, it's from this year, but I didn't end up using it this year. So it's in my leftovers now. Then I have some Harry Potter kits. This is also a printable one. Um, I don't remember where it's from. Actually, I think this is from Pink Planner Shop on Etsy. And then in the back, I just have my silver um, underlays from Planet Hannah that I'm planning on using. Then I have this printable Harry Potter kit again. And then I have my gold um, underlays from Planet Hannah that I'm planning on using with this kit. So cute. I just keep that in the back of the sleeves. And then this really gorgeous Harry Potter kit from Glam Planner. And then I have a bunch of extras in the back here. I have the add-on boxes. And then I have rose gold quote overlays from Planet Hannah. And some more Harry Potter underlays in rose gold as well. So I just keep that in the back. Then another printable Harry Potter kit. Don't know where it's from. But I have my gold Planet Hannah things in there. My um, quote overlays and my underlays in gold right there. And then another Harry Potter printable kit with silver underlays from Planet Hannah this time. Then this is a Simply Gilded subscription box kit with gold foil on it super pretty and then I just put my extras in it in the back as well this is also a sub box kit that my friend got for me actually and this has rose gold foil and extras in the back as well then it goes into my pink diamond planner co section so I have this kit right here which is so gorgeous I'm planning on using this for my mom's birthday 
and then I just put the extras in the back like the little add-ons that it comes with then I have this like pizza <laughs> new year's themed kit which I'm actually using for my boyfriend's birthday in September because it kind of looks like a party to me even though it says happy new year I'm still gonna use it as like a birthday party thing and um he loves pizza so yeah using that for his birthday then i have this um practical magic kit just so pretty i think i'm gonna use this in fall or something and then i put my planet hannah silver harry potter underlays with that um then i have this milky cafe kit which is so cute this is also a little bit sailor moon themed as well and it's just so pretty and galaxy themed i love this girl's hair put my silver star underlays from Planet Hannah with that and then I have this movie themed kit from Pink Diamond no extras with that yet but it's so cute let me zoom up on this a little bit so you guys can see better okay then I have this like wintry themed kit so pretty no extras with that um another like galaxy spread right here and i have my silver star underlays paired with that then this like movie theater or, like outside movie themed kit which is stunning i love this art so much i think this is the reason why i first place an order with them is because of this kit then this pocket is a little bit strange i have some extras from the corella kit that I got from SPC in a rack bag and then I also have oh that's in the next sleeve okay never mind and I actually did order the Cruella kit so it's nice that I have these extra add-ons for it so then this is a Honey Bee Shop mini kit right here so so small but yeah I have that for whenever I get another tattoo then i have this really old kit from blank slate stickers that is like fall pumpkin spice themed so old but yeah i don't even think this is a shop anymore then i have this like winter printable kit uh, i don't really know where this is from i have some extra like christmas sheets from kimmy's studio that i got in an oops grab bag literally just random sheets that I saved. Hopefully you guys saw that. I don't know if that was off camera or not, but which I don't know why I'm really storing this in my kit binder because it's not really a kit. I should be storing it in my like um pages of my reusable sticker book, but whatever, it's in here. I'm just going to leave it in here. Then I have this camping kit from So Cute Planner. I think this is a photo kit and it's really really pretty. Can't wait to go camping and use this. I really need to because I love camping. Then I have this kit from Sticky Essentials, and I'm actually planning on using this for the week that I get engaged, whenever that is. So, yeah, really excited to use this. This art is so pretty. And then I have, like, the extra man guys that came as a freebie in the back. Then I have this kit from Scribble Prints Co. that was um, a mystery kit, but I bought off the buy-sell trade because I don't subscribe to the mystery but look how cute it's like camping road trip fall theme to me and so cute i really need to use this this year i love it and then i do have the extras and the foil in the back right here it came with copper foil and extra boxes and the add-ons the foil is so pretty i love the copper so yeah, that's that kit, and then, oh my god, all my kits are facing different ways, but it's fine. Let me zoom back out just a little bit. Okay, then this is like another winter-themed kit, like hot chocolate-themed, and you can see the snow in the back. So it's definitely winter. Oh yeah, and that is a printable kit. I don't remember where it's from. This is another printable kit, but it is fall themed, like log cabin themed, and it's so pretty. Didn't get to use it last year, so I still have it. <laughs> also got this last year, didn't use it, but it's a pumpkin spice latte kit from Sweet Bean Plans, and I only have two pages of it, the boxes and the full boxes. 
And then as you can see right here, this is where it gets, it's, uh, the album is getting so thick that it's bending the sheets right here. And I really just don't like that, but I'm just going to leave everything that's in here that's in here. And if it gets bent, um, hopefully it's not ruined, but yeah, this is a fall kit from the Fruity Sticker Co. that I got last fall, didn't get to use. This one is really old as well. It's just the full boxes from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And I just think it's really cute. It's all cat themed. And then I also printed out some boxes that I thought would go with the color scheme to use with this kit. Um, yeah, I just made those myself. And then I have this fall kit from Paper Candy Art. Super cute. I used the bright colored one last fall that passed so now I still have this nude colored one and I didn't even notice that I got two of the same kit because they were different colorways so they looked really different to me but yeah technically I've already used this art but just a different colorway then this other winter printable kit which is also kind of uh, never mind I was gonna say it's log cabin themed but it's not really actually it's just winter themed this is the log cabin winter kit that I was thinking of I guess um, yeah, this is also a printable kit. Really cute. I have my extras right there in the back. And then I have this one that I got from Valentine's Week that I'm just saving to probably to use for my cat's birthday in September. Oh, in September. So yeah, I just have a couple sheets of this. And this is from Paper and Thread. I printed out, um, oh, I don't have a couple sheets. I just have the full boxes and I printed out these boxes for it as well. Then I have this other winter printable kit. Don't remember where it's from. I have some extras in here. I have the snowflake header overlays from Designing San Diego. And then one random Christmas one that I won't use with it, but I guess it's just on the sheets. And then next I have this very strange format of... Um, a kit from Glam Planner that is winter themed, but it has a log, <laughs> a um hot tub scene, which I really loved. So that's why I got this kit. And yeah, so I have that one, which I was really wanting to use this past winter, but I didn't end up going to a hot tub. But um next year, I definitely need to because I really love hot tubs. <laughs> then I have this amazing kit i love it so much i need to get like five more of these because these are so cute but this is from glam planner and i'm planning on using this a week that i get tattoos of my cats and as you can see this girl has a cat tattoo on her arm so i thought that would be perfect to use for when i do that then i have this other bare necessities sticker co kit that is the same format as the other one and it just has the two sheets with the full boxes, the date covers, and then like little add-on, um, what are these called? Sheets, I guess. And these are actually called like her mini pocket sheets. And I have used some of the stickers from here just because they're really cute. So yeah, that's what those look like. And I just have that like in the back like that so I can see that there's extra sheets okay and then I skipped a bunch of sheets because these are more like anytime kits back here or not in season really so I have this like cooking kit from sticker guru that is in a b6 format with gold foil don't ask me why I got this format because I've never had a b6 but I think it was just cheaper than the other sizes so I was like yeah I don't really care if the boxes are smaller I'll still use it so yeah it has um two pages with foil and then I have another b6 <laughs> sticker guru kit that's really old and this is like the reading theme and it has rose gold foil it looks like that and then I have this printable kit from Leonard Designs that is Riverdale themed. I love it so much. Can't wait to use that. I'm going to use that for two weeks because it comes with a lot of boxes. And then, oh, I have this log cabin theme, which is kind of like Christmas log cabin-ish kit. And I don't really like it anymore, but I think it's just this box that's pulling at, um, what? 
it's making me not like it is what I'm trying to say. Um, it just looks like an old person tablecloth. No offense if you like that, but like uh, it's not my thing. But I really like this scene. So yeah, I have that. Don't remember where it's from. And then I think I have three more kits, <laughs> which I don't really like any of these kits anymore. These were all kits that I got when I first started planning, but I have this that I got in my So Cute Planner subscription box. <laughs> Not my favorite, but I have it. Then I have this beach photo kit, which actually I do really like this. I think it's really cute and yeah, hopefully I'll get to use this this summer. Oh yeah, and this other kit does come with foil overlays and extra fashion girls, but these are gold. And this is a beach kit as well from my subscription box that I used to have. And yeah, I don't really like this art, this clip art. It's just not my style anymore. And then it did come with extras and gold foil add-ons. So yeah, that is all my kits. I have way too many. I know I have a problem, but it makes me happy. So yeah. Okay, and then next I have my foil storage, which is in this like really long envelope from My Perfect Plan. And I thought it'd be really good to store um, basically like foil bundles. Um, and that's what I do. So I have a bunch of foil bundles and random like washi strips in here. So here I have my latest sticker guru washi strips that are these. I just keep them in the back, which I'm going to put it in here in a second actually. And then in here I have other bottom washi overlay strips from, um, these are all from Scribble Prints Co. This purple one is from Stady Stickers. And then this black one is from Murdoch Talks. So, yeah, I just kind of keep them in some cello. And, yeah, I think this envelope is, like, perfect for it because these things are, like, long-shaped. And, yeah, this packaging is, like, really protective. So, I just do that. <laughs> So there's that. I have this random foil from Soul Prince Co. that I got in a um, rack bag. I have this, these two that I also got from Buy Sell Trade of pink foil from SPC. And then, oh yeah, I also have some random like washi strips in the back that were from the scammer. So I just saved them. <laughs> um... Yeah, so let's jump into these. This one is my green foil from Murdoch Talks, and then I put my green sampler from Planet Hannah in here. And I did use this already, but I have leftover, so I'm going to use it again whenever I need to use green foil. And then I think that all of these are pink diamond planner. Oh, not this one. This is some foil in the luxe theme from Murdoch Talks. I have bottom washi and then like two sheets of like headers and full box overlays, I think. So I have those in there, and then all of these are foil bundles, bundles from Pink Diamond Planner Co. And yeah, so this one is like orange, super bright orange, so pretty. This one is a red one. This one is a light blue, like icy color, so pretty. This one is like a deep bright blue, kind of, if that makes sense. And it also has stars in it. That would be so good to use for um, 4th of July. So that's interesting. And then this really bright pink color from Pink Diamond Planner Co. So yeah, that's how I store my random foil things. And then speaking of foil, um, I have this little album from Simply Gilded that <laughs> is so thick right now. She's real thick and busting at the seams. But this is where I keep, like, my icons and overlays and just random foil things. So over here, I just have, like, a little strip of sticker paper that I can put any foil that I don't end up using for a kit that I already pulled on here just to save it and reuse it. So I just keep that in the pocket. And then right here is, like, my icon sampler page of rose gold. So there's some date numbers here, too. But there's icons, icons, these are all rose gold. So I have Planet Hannah and Simply Gilded right here. 
that's in the front and then right here i have some blue icons from murdoch talks these are my silver icons and then one random gold one because i don't have any like samplers for gold this is all that i have left so murdoch talks plan a hannah and plan a hannah and then i have a sampler from romina rosa in hollow i don't know if you can see then i have some this goes into my foiled icons so i have computers from Alyssa's craft shop all of these are from Alyssa's craft shop so this is pizza boxes coffee washing dishes um takeout boxes um like washing machines grocery carts these are foiled planners from the scammer um ig icon <laughs> ig instagram icons from the scammer um and here i have youtube icons from the scammer and then some newer youtube icons from okay plans which i love these a lot more and i also have hollow all my other icons i don't have hollow in except for the newer ones that i got these are netflix icons from the scammer um happy mail from Alyssa's craft shop laundry basket from there and then these are phone icons from romina rosa and then these are house icons from romina rosa on glossy white paper there's a hair in there and then those are car icons from romina rosa on glossy white paper as well and then in here is where i have all of my um foiled date dots so i have sticker guru in the front oh i have caress press um gosh they're all stuck together simply gilded some Nicole Alexia designs for Hobonichi. Um, more sticker guru. I'm going to put that in the front. More caress press. Um, another Nicole Alexia designs. And then these are from Designing San Diego, which I cut up because the sheet was too long to fit. So yeah, those are all those. And I just keep them in one pocket because I don't have enough pockets to keep them all separately. So yeah, then this is my little pink foil sampler pocket so this is from rose color days spc spc rose color days Alyssa's craft shop okay plans and then uh, i don't remember where these are from but yeah i just have all those and i kind of like to keep the bigger sheets in the back so i can still see the smaller sheets when i'm looking then this is like my um oh my gosh my cat this is like my holiday section so i have some scripts some christmas scripts from kinsey um christmas banners from planner choco these fall sampler things from scroll prince co some christmas overlays from planner choco some spider web borders from rose colored days um valentine's overlays from sticker guru holiday headers from rose color days scripts rose color days and um a fall sampler a script sampler from scribble prints co that my friend gave me okay and then over here is like colorful foil so i have this oops sheet from modoc talks some purple icons from SPC, um, some leftover purple boxes from Sadie stickers, some more purple icons from Sadie's, and then I have these hobo date dots in colorful foil, and then red sampler and rainbow sampler from Rose Color Days. Just in that pocket, here are some bow corners from Sadie stickers it's all that's in that pocket um this is my gold sampler section so I have these vacation scripts these um gold dangles Netflix binge this is from Sadie stickers sticker bloom don't really like them the pretty pink co designing San Diego Simply Goaded, Sticker Guru, these are oops, um, DEK Design, 
um, Caress Press, Sticker Guru. Um, these are from the GP Studio, and then these are Sticker Guru again. And then this is my silver sampler section. So these are from Caress Press. I uh, don't know where this is from. There's a hair in it. <laughs> um, Sticker Guru. Don't know. Murdoch Talks. SPC. The Pretty Pink Co. These are also the Pretty Pink Co. Planner Choco. GP Studio. Um, Rose Color Days. Rose Color Days. Okay, and then this is the <laughs> rose gold section. This is from Hootie Lally Day from Etsy. Um, the Pretty Pink Co. Also the Pretty Pink Co. GP Studio. Rose Colored Days. Rose Colored Days. Um, Luna Love Stickers Co. Which came in like a sampler pack. SPC. Pretty Pink Co. SPC. Murdoch Talks. And Alyssa's Craft Shop. And then over here is some hollow things. So we have work home and play scripts some overlays from sticker guru date dots and then corner thingies really small hollow section because i just started getting into hollow and then these are my newest moon um like decorative dangle thingies and i have rose gold silver purple gold and hollow Then I have my purple foil right here of date dots. Um, and then these are headers that I have in purple, silver, rose gold, and gold. And I already used the hollow one of the um, header overlays. Then I have these floral moon circles in all the foils again already used some of the rose gold ones then I have a bunch of <laughs> um what are these called full box overlays so these are some frames and then I have some confetti ones and four foils from sticker guru And then I have some purple boxes that I think I'm going to use as bougie whenever I do a purple foil spread, like celestial themed. And then I just have my solid date, um, what are these called? Not date, my solid headers. So I have these three from SPC and then the hollow one is sticker guru. And then lastly, I have my whole reinforcers. So this section is my core foils, and then these are my fun foils and black. So I have some from Caress Press right here. I have some from Plana Hannah. And then the rest of these are from OK Plans. That look like that. And then here's the rest of these are from OK Plans. I have black, this teal color, um, red pink and purple and yeah that's basically everything that I have in my little foil sticker album and I just have one more page left to fill and it's pretty stuffed so yeah that's all the foil okay guys so that is gonna be it for part one of this video I did my leftover books my albums and kits and then for part two is going to be going through all of these and this album I have a lot of sticker sheets in there that's going to take a long time probably to go through so I'd rather just split up the video but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next one bye